you're looking for AJ, Marissa took him home. I'm here to talk to you. Well, I'm sure it's not about a piece of pie. You need to speak with Marissa. This whole suing for primary custody is just crazy. I'm thinking not so much. I love AJ, and I would do anything for him. I've proven that in the past. You, Babe, and Jamie, you tried to steal my son from me. You hit him, you lied to me about it, you took him out of state. That didn't work, did it? Well, considering that you tore up lives and nearly killed Jamie, I can't really say that it did. But I know this is no threat, right? I'm just suggesting there's no need to repeat history. Because I will do whatever it takes to keep my son. You know that I'm not afraid of drawing blood. Ooh, that does sound like a threat. Marissa fired the first shot. I'm just responding. You know what, JR? I really hate that it's come to this, but considering the fact that you use Chandler as a war ground and then you go around doing whatever it is that you do with your cousin's wife, that's not the kind of atmosphere I want my grandson growing up in. AJ is my priority. Oh, really? Just like you were your father's priority? You know, this is not going to end well for anyone who crosses me. And I hope that your friend Caleb is worth it. Where are you? This party started 30 minutes ago. Uh, well, at least it should have, but nobody's here yet. Just call me as soon as you get this, please. <sighs> you know people in Pine Valley, they just love being fashionably late. <laughs> Mr. Caleb Cortland. Caleb. Hey, oh, I'm so glad you can make it. Hey, how you doing? Uh, this, uh, this is my party planner and, uh, Reporter, everybody else is on their way. They're just running a little bit late. You know, that's how they do things in polite society. Yeah. Can I get you a drink? And then I need to talk to you? Alone? Of course. Uh, you are my first and only guest so far, so please don't ruin this. Where's Scott? Um, I, I think his flight must have gotten delayed. I can't seem to get in touch with him. Scott's not going to be the only no-show tonight. <laughs> what? No, Scott's going to be here. Everyone's going to be here. No. I don't think so. I just got a call from a Chandler board member. JR has put the word out that anybody who shows up at this party would regret it. JR sabotaged my party. I'm afraid there's not going to be any party. You tell Scott to give me a call. And you tell him to watch his back. Is it true? Jared purposely ruined your party? No, uh, no, no, no. This was all a misunderstanding. A power play? Hardly. And it looks like he won. Um, do, uh, do you mind? One second. I got my story. Hello? It's me. Where are you? Where am I? I'll tell you where the hell I am. I'm in Florida. What? Pilot claims it was a mistake. It was JR. Oh my God, Scott, he got to everyone on the list. No one is here and no one is coming. My night and my life are ruined. Is there anything else? Like Just go, please. Just get out. Well, I gotta tell you, when I heard those tires skidding, uh, <laughs> oh, it's not funny. My whole life flashed before me. Mm. Thought it was I over. I was gonna have arrested that fool for endangering a pedestrian. Yes, hey, you hey. Well, what did we miss? Uh, you have no idea. Mm. Come here. here? You never ask. There you go. Watch your right. step. Okay, on, here we go. So, how was your first day back? Well, let's see. I uh, tripped Dr. Bynum with my cane. 
And I wound up in the men's restroom. Not terrible. Yeah, well, you know what? I almost wrote our son up for violating hospital policy when he tried to help me. Not my best moment. But it's over now, so she was amazing. Mm. And now I get to wake up and do it all over again. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day? Well, I, um, I wanted to see what it was like um, for you being blind, so I had Jake blindfold me. <laughs> And uh, I worked over the entire place. Well, he means the place got worked over. I mean, a couple of chairs, uh, couch suffered a bit. Hey, this uh, chair. All right, all right, I know. All right. Then I took your cane, your spare cane, and I went outside and even crossed the street by myself. You what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a little disorienting. You know, the traffic, the horns, the thunder. Mm. I got to tell you. But, uh, you know, I made it. Wait, wait, wait a minute. The horns... Did you almost get hit? Well, yeah, it was just another learning experience. Um, but you know what I learned? I learned the things that can scare the mess out of me that don't even phase you. I mean, you are amazing. I mean, it's amazing what you do. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 